So remember I told you a few months ago I was gonna make over a bathroom in somebody else's house. I was looking for a warm bathtub or a colorful bathtub and we were gonna make over your entire bathroom. Well, that makeover is done. Don't worry, you have not missed anything. You're gonna to get to see that video in about two to three weeks. Be sure to come back to Thrift Diving to see that reveal. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you how we created the artwork for that bathroom makeover. It took it from like boring to like, oh my gosh, look what we created. <laughs> so in this video, we're gonna be using a Cricut. They're sponsoring this video. We used some vinyl, we used some craft paints, and we also used, of course, a frame from the thrift store. I'm also gonna tell you some of the other features of the Cricut that I really think makes this an amazing tool to have in your DIY toolbox. And I can guarantee you're gonna find some area of blank wall space in your house in order to make something just as cool. All right, let's jump into it right now. So for this project, I'm using the Cricut Explore 3, but when we started this bathroom makeover, we thought we would get a thrift store frame and just do something by hand and be abstract. Well, that changed when I realized, wait a minute, I've got this Explore 3, let's use this. We've got vinyl, we can cut something that's creative and unique to your bathroom, and my friend was totally on board. So I'm gonna walk you through how I actually did this. Now, this Explore 3 does have Bluetooth capabilities, which I love, so I just plugged it in and was planning out what I'm gonna do, and you'll see that in just a moment, but it's got so many features, and you'll see this later in the video. You can use the infusible ink pens, but we're gonna be using this deep point blade. This is so that we can cut the vinyl that we need in order to do this creative artwork. I'm using this 5.99 frame from the thrift store, but I needed a 1 8 inch thick piece of MDF so that I can mount the picture, the vinyl, to this board. And of course, I'm gonna paint it, so I wanna put some primer on there. Use fine sandpaper, make sure it's smooth. And if you don't know how to use a jigsaw, then definitely find my tutorial. You can find it down below or up there in the corner, or take my Power Tools course, which is coming. Now, here's the thing. This has to be the exact size to fit inside of the frame. This is what the vinyl is going to be on. And we have to take measurements too, because we're gonna be designing this in Cricut Design Studio, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, and we need those measurements. Cricut Design Studio is great because there's thousands of images. Some of them are free, some of them may cost you money, or you can sign up for their membership and get access to all of these images. But the one that I was looking for was part of the SVG Ocean a designer page and if I search for African woman there were so many different ones that were amazing but my friend she wanted this particular image and we knew with some of the customization that we were going to do with the colors the crafting paint that we were going to be able to make this unique for her bathroom makeover okay so we needed to figure out what size this actually needed to be so we're going to take those measurements from the MDF and we're going to click on shapes click on the box and then we're going to create a template and we're gonna unlock this and put in those measurements, which was, I believe it was, yes, 15 by 24, or 18 by 24. <laughs> so that's the template, that's the size of the MDF, and this will allow us to put this image on top of that and then drag it using the little corner brackets in order to make it fit to what size we want it to be. So that's what the artwork is going to look like. And once we figure out the size of the artwork, then we can just delete that gray box because we don't need it. But the big question is, how do you cut a large image on a Cricut that uses vinyl that's only 12 inches wide? Well, that cutting area is actually only 11 and a half. And so we have to create another template so that we can see how this has to be cut up into different sections. Now, you'll see that I'm using 11 and a half, that's the cutting area, and I'm using Smart Vinyl, which actually doesn't need a mat, but if you are using a mat, make sure you're using 11 and a half by 11 and a half for a 12 inch mat, or 11 and a half by 23 and a half for a large mat. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just covering up, this is what my template looks like for the vinyl. I'm gonna duplicate that, because it looks like I'll need two sheets of vinyl in order to fully cut out this image. And then I can bring the image forward so I can see what it's gonna look like on those two sheets of vinyl. And I can zoom in a little and make sure that they're lined up perfectly. That's gonna give me a great cut. And then when I select the image and then select one of the squares, the templates, then I go down below and hit slice. It's going to slice up that design 
so that part of it's going to get printed on that 11 and a half and then the other part of the design will get printed on 11 and a half and then you'll see in just a moment we'll be able to match those up on the MDF and create really as large of a piece of artwork as you want. So once we've sliced it up, we don't need those gray boxes. Those were just templates. And these lips, these beautiful hot pink lips, ah, I love that part of the picture. <laughs> That's going to be part of the design as well. And you'll see those will get cut later. Anyway, now that we know we've got these two sections, we can click the top right corner make, and then it's going to show us well, also, we're going to make sure that we're selecting here that we're using smart vinyl because we don't actually need to use a mat. So you'll see this is what it looks like. It's actually going to cut it on one long piece of vinyl for us. So as I'm loading this in, you'll notice one of the accessories I'm using here. I love this. This is the Cricut roll holder because some of the designs that you may be cutting could be as long as banners or signs or maybe like large wall murals and you're going to need a lot of vinyl so having this roll holder is great because as you're pushing the design through as it's feeding through you've got a, a very organized way of keeping the vinyl in place and so you're not having it unravel all over the place Anyway, you see that this is cutting the image. It's really super quick. It's using that deep point blade to get really accurate cuts. And with this roll holder, it's got a built-in paper cutter. So I love that. And now that we have our image, we could go ahead over to the crafting table and start pulling away all of the vinyl that we don't need. But first, I like to cut away the design so that it's just easier to weed. And I'm pulling back on the vinyl and you start seeing this amazing image come to life. And yes, it's large. Oh, it's going to look amazing. Now be careful here because sometimes some of the pieces may want to come off. You see there's some really thin pieces of vinyl here. So just take your time. I'm speeding this up for the sake of the video, but take your time so that you don't make a mistake or pull off parts that you really need to keep. You really don't want to have to cut it twice. That's a waste of vinyl. Now we're going to be using Cricut transfer tape. This is essential whenever you're working with vinyl. It will allow you to transfer the image to the transfer tape. And then once that's in place, I'm going to move that aside for a moment. We're going to take that off and apply it in just a moment. But first, we want to do as much of the painting as possible. I'm using turquoise because we want that pop of color. This was my friend's suggestion. She's like, we got to do turquoise. I need that pop of color. And I didn't do the entire thing turquoise because I wanted to not use all of my turquoise paint. Anyway, I'm peeling back that thick layer of the transfer tape. And you'll see that when I'm applying the image, that transfer tape allows me to set it in place exactly where I want it and then very carefully peel back that layer that we don't need. And we're going to do the same to the other side. Transfer tape, you have to use transfer tape. You really can't do any clean vinyl project without transfer tape. So make sure that you get that as part of your toolkit. And you'll see that I'm applying the lips here, but I actually removed them later and painted her first and then came back and added the lips. And honestly, I think doing this project now twice, I think even adding the eyebrows, the nose, the lips, I think all of that's probably easier to add after the fact, but you can just, you know, very carefully with small pink brushes, work around the features, the facial features, and just be careful that you don't get paint on the vinyl because then it kind of dulls the vinyl and it won't look as good. And another option is to kind of estimate where you think your design's going to be and just fully paint the sort of like what I did, paint the turquoise and then paint all of the skin and then apply the vinyl. Either way is fine, but let's move on to the next part, which was the frame. I did clean this up because whenever you're trying to frame something, you want to make sure there's no smudges. It has to look great. And remember, my MDF was about 1 8 inch thick. Because it was kind of thin, I went ahead and reused the piece of cardboard that went in the back of the frame. But if you use quarter inch, it's going to be a little thicker, and I think that's going to hold it in there nicely. Now, this didn't actually have any hooks to hang this on my wall. So I measured down maybe about 9, 10 inches. And it doesn't matter what hooks you use, just make sure that they're even on both sides. And here's a little tip for hanging pictures. You want to take tape and mark where those hooks are. And generally what I do is I fold this in half, lining up those marks, and make sure I mark where the center is between those two marks. 
Then I measure the distance that I want to place my artwork and find the center in that measurement. Then I take the wall center and line it up with the tape center and make sure that it's level. And you'll see there, all I need is a level and I will adjust my tape to be level. And then all I have to do is transfer my markings and I've got centered artwork and it's level. <laughs> it works every single time. And this is the artwork that is hanging in my she shed. Now remember, there's an exact copy of this with slightly different skin tone in my friend's bathroom. And I cannot wait for you to see that makeover, which is coming soon. So you gotta come back to my channel. Be sure to go to Cricut.com for more information about the Cricut Explore 3. Get this as part of your DIY toolkit because I guarantee there's so many cool things you can make with this. And a big thanks to Cricut for sponsoring this project. And I will see you next video.